welcome to Angie's Craft Corner. Today we are going to do a review on the Colador brush pens I got. They are re I don't even know how to pronounce it, so I'm not even gonna try. So it was 24 of them. They acid free, blendable, water based, brush tip, and really a fine point. If you like fine point pens, these is it. I mean, they like the um, ultra fine sharpie pens. But these is a water base, so you can uh, use water markers, oh, uh, water brushes with them. Also, um, I don't think, I know they didn't come with one. But we're going just to do a quick deal if this thing works today. I'm having issues with, I don't know why my apple does not like, like me. So we are going to use this red. And the only thing, they don't have the cordles on each one. But I'm just going to color this in really quickly. Just to show how, I mean, they are inky. I have used these before I did a video on them. So, and I've used, used them pretty good. And I am not sponsored by these. I order these with my own money. So, with that being said. Now, if they want to sponsor me, I'll be more than gladly to. Okay, now I'm going to use this yellow. And I see wood flying at me, so. Dan and husband's putting wood on the porch. It's cold here in Arkansas. So my craft room's about 77 degrees. I think that's the warmest it's been in a while. And now I'm going to just do the green in for leaves. Now you could do this you know, multi clones or whatever, however you want to do it. You could blend all this. I'm just doing this for a quick review. And, uh, I'm, I'm not doing perfectly. Like I should, I know. Because I don't know how well this camera. I'm trying to learn how to record off of my Apple. Because the editing program is so much easier. And I can do more with it, but <clears throat> if it don't run longer than five minutes, it ain't no good to me. We are going to use this. Ah! Well, we'll just stamp it on the back. No big deal, huh? Now, this is on watercolor paper. And we are going to use this pencil. And I'm just going to go in and use this like so. Well, I can blend this out with a water water brush or a watercolor brush, or maybe just a brush with water. Well, I don't 
stay out of there. Yes, I'm a digging, y'all. And then I'm just going to use this water. And y'all can see how it's just. It's not going to blend too good. But y'all see the. And it might. It just may be me. Maybe I should have just tapered it on. But just see what I'm saying. I mean, you can paint with these. I did find out that I'm going to be a great aunt. Congratulations, Garrett and Tiffany. Love y'all. Uh, kind of been expecting it. And then I'm just going to hold the squeeze in. Now you can go back over this once it dries. And add some other corners to it. This one's got wet. And yes, they are doing wood. So if y'all hear a big old crash, it's my son throwing wood at me. Hopefully it don't go come through the door. I'm just going to put a little bit of green up here in here. Make it look. But y'all see what I'm saying. Uh, I'm not the perfect water watercolorist, and I'm not. That was the first time I've actually used these with water. So, <coughs> practice does make them. Perfect, and I am. I have not practiced, so y'all just bear with me. But this is what I think of it. I think I like them for brush markers and water based markers. I do like them, I think they do blend good. I mean, use two tones of, I mean, you could just probably. Use the water brush and hone it out. <coughs> Shut up, dogs. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> they are barking at him. <coughs> but this was not watercolor paper. This is just typing paper that I put on my board. <coughs> but I hope y'all enjoy this video. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. I will catch y'all later. Have a blessed day and bye. Love y'all.